All right, so what we have here is an opportunity, everybody. Uh, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. I'm JR. I had a gentleman in the Facebook group who was struggling with his truck. He just took it out for the first drive. And uh, he has it running, you know, it's running really rich down low and it's running really lean up top. And, and he's struggling with it. And let me start off by saying yet again, I'm not a professional tuner. But I can fumble my way through and hopefully this might help somebody point somebody down the right path here. There's some basic changes that you need to, this is Anders tune here. Um, whenever you do a cam, the way to think about it is if you have a given amount of power in a curve and you just, you slide that curve along back and forth, right? Um, the peak may go up, but it's always going to slide up. So whenever you do a cam, you're going to wind up needing less fuel down low and more fuel up top because it's carrying the, the power out further in the RPM range. And usually it gives up some down low. So what I'm going to do here for him and for all of you, not really for him, but uh, let me back up. You go into your general airflow there's a whole steps to tuning and dialing in your math and then dialing in your ve table but i just make these gross changes off the back to kind of try to get in the ballpark right this is not a final running driving tune this is a ballpark tune that at least won't be pig rich and you know deadly lean up top so what i do is i go in and the cells below 1200 or so I don't go way over here because you're not going to be way over there unless you have forced induction. Um, he's running a sloppy stage two cam, which I already did this with Daryl. I have the same basic setup, even though he has a Gen 4 ECU. Um, so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to take out like 12% of the fueling. And hit plus. You have to type a negative to subtract it. And all the numbers will drop down. And then these three, I'll probably take out like 8%. And I'm just guessing here. It's not, for here, I'm not going to do anything. For here, I'm going to start adding it back in. So we'll go up 8%. Then the next three rows... We'll go up 12%. And then the final two rows, if he really likes to party, he might be up here. I'll make a big change and go up like 15%. Um, this is enough to move your AFR by over a point. So it should get you in the ballpark and it should get you safe to drive. You should use your wide band or at least your narrow bands and, and see if you're in the danger zone or anything. But basically that's it. You you can let this go now. Another thing that I'll do is I'll go in and I'll bump up the base idle a little bit. It looks like his is up already. It also looks like he's changed it already. Um, then the base running airflow, you can bump that up a little bit too. If you have to. Um... But you definitely, it's not intuitive. The main VE table is in the airflow tab, but it's actually the fueling for the engine. And VE means volumetric efficiency. So he has a 6 liter engine. 100% volumetric efficiency means that he's moving 6 liters of air every rotation of that engine. Um, which when you're, you know, sitting there puttering around in traffic or idling, you're not moving six liters of air. You're not at wide open throttle. You're just idling, puttering along. You know, maybe you're moving two liters of air or something like that. So, you know, the ECU scales it down less. Um, that's really it. It's a pretty short and sweet and to the point kind of video. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, let me know down below. If you have any criticism, let me know down below. Um... And yeah, if you're trying to tune a cam, that's the basic, to get in the ballpark to where you can actually even start to tune. Because like a sloppy stage two is rowdy enough 
Like, Daryl wouldn't even run. Some do, some don't. I think he has a manual, so that makes it a little easier. But Daryl wouldn't even run without, you know, making some of these wide, sweeping, rough changes. So, use caution, and I hope that helps. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the Driveway Engineer.